I'm Mr. Wimble, and welcome to this educational video on cross sections. Now, what exactly is a cross section? Well, they usually look a little bit like this shape over here, but for this video, we're going to tell you exactly how to go from a topographical map with contour lines to a cross section. So let's get started. This here is a very colourful and grainy 1980s themed topographical map. And you can see quite clearly the pixelated contour lines. So, for example, here is 300 metres above sea level. Everywhere that line touches is 300 metres above sea level. Over here is 400 metres above sea level. Everything that line touches is 400 metres. Down near my feet, there's 500. And then down further, 600. So, what we're really seeing here is kind of like a, a mountain from a bird's eye point of view. But what if you want to see what it looks like on the ground? Well, you need to get a cross section. It looks a little bit like this. This is a cross section. It's kind of a computer generated 3D model, uh, which looks pretty cool. But there's the general idea. So we see there's meters along here. And then up here, we see the other axis which if you come along over here, you'll see 4,000, 6,000, 8,000, 10,000. I'm assuming that's feet, by the way. But this is the general idea. This is what, what we'll look at. Now, we're not going to do anything as fancy as this. We're going to look at it from one side. And I'll take you step by step for those people that are freaking out and show you exactly how to do it. Let's get started. Now... I'm going to use the same map that you find in your booklets. It's basically a simplified version so that you can get the hang of it. Let's have a look at what we've got in this map here. As you can see, we've got a spot height here of 228 metres, point A. And then we've got contour lines falling out. 220, 200, 180, 160, 140. Then point B over here at 160. So it starts going back up again. What we're going to do is we're going to go from point A to point B. We're going to get a line and a ruler and draw that line all the way from A to B. Once you've got your line, grab a piece of paper, just any piece of paper, as long as it's got a straight edge. Then what you're going to do is going across, I'll just get up here, whoa, just going across here, what you're going to do is you mark on the paper every time you find a contour line and you write what that is. So, having a look, A.228. Then, next, we mark where 220 is. There's the 220. Mark 220. 200. There's the 200. Mark the 200. 180. There's 180. Mark it down. 160. Mark it down. 140. Now, here, look, up here's Happy Jack's Creek. So, we'll mark that. We'll make a little symbol so that we know what it is and we'll write Creek. Then we come along, we find 140, mark it, 160, mark it, and B. And what we've basically done is we've created a to-scale kind of uh, line showing exactly what the height of the map is at each of those points. Now we're going to take this piece of paper and we're going to create a cross-section with it. Okay, now here's the part that most people get wrong. Have a look at your numbers of the contour lines here. Have a look at the highest distance. So ours is just here with my foot is 228. So we want to make sure that our graph, our cross section, goes higher than that. So let's pick 240. And what you're going to do is you're going to go from zero up equal distances till we get to our 240. Okay, so mark out, get your calculator out if you have to, and mark out equally where each distance is obviously make it at least wide enough so that your paper can fit. Then, very simply, we put our paper down and plot out how high each contour line is. So, I'll start with 228, and 228 is up here, dot. Then 220, 220, dot. 200, dot. 180 dot and you follow along each dot in exact line of where this paper is we come to our creek make a little same symbol for the creek as before and you write happy jacks creek then the line and then finally finish it off with b 
Once you've kind of done that, what you'll have is a series of dots. And then it's a simple matter of getting your pencil and drawing a line that follows the dots along in a logical fashion. And you will find yourself with a brand spanking new cross section. Ciao.